Because that's new YouTube, he's the man all the way to George Page, aka the Emperor of Female Body Man Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, it's another one of my comparisons of my series, Moms with Muscles. And I ch chose two ladies who are from out of the United States, even though uh, they're both of um, citizens of the uh, of the UK in a way. Um, when the lady here is one Miss Gail Moya, who's originally from Great Britain, but she lives here in the United States. And the lady next to her is one Miss Don Allison, who's from Canada. As you know, Canada and um, Britain are part of the EU, and people who live in Canada are technically citizens of Great Britain. So, you know, that's pretty much how that works. And these ladies are pretty impressive ladies. And as, as I said before, this series is, as I said, is a, a series about moms with muscles. And, um, you know, uh, Kate, um, Gail has a daughter named Courtney. And Don has a son named Sky. And both of them are single mothers. You know, and I remember, I remember there was a picture of, I remember seeing a picture with Kate with her daughter when she was younger. And I was trying to find that picture. It's hard to find it, you know. So I really find this one with um with uh, Courtney, and this one here was just okay. One's one have one together, but a lot some of these ladies are not on social media that much. But I did find this one with Don and her son Sky, and they're very close. And these ladies are very impressive. You know, both have uh, been um, different shade of uh, of hair colors. Uh, you know, uh, I think um uh Gail's a natural brunette, so she, but she is competing group part of career as a blonde. And, um, you know, Dawn is a natural brunette and she has competed for as in a group of career as a blonde herself. But, um, you know, both are very impressive women. And, um, I think this is why I chose them because, you know, these are both women kind of different sides of the same coin. So let's get started. Here we have a starting pose. And you can really tell the, the big difference between these phases of physique wise. Um, you know, uh, um, Gail has more of that closer classic look you might see in, um, you know, in most of the bodybuilders, especially back in the good part of the, uh, you know, she's been competing since the good part of the, um, mid to late nineties and up to the, uh, two thousands. And, um, uh, Allison, I mean, Don, she's been competing for quite some time, about, about the same time as, as a Gail. And she stayed in a little bit more longer in, as a competitor. But she has a, a, a very, um, you know, or more of the uh, look that a lot of um, the fans like, a little bit more more muscle mass compared to, you know, you know uh, the leaner look that some of uh, what they want to see in uh, more competitions. Now, here we have a front lat spread. And if you go by just sheer size and lat size, I have to go with um, Don. Don has the, her, her lats are really out there compared to... Um, Gail, Gail, she her she don't have much of a lat development compared to Don, but you know I say these women have two pretty impressive physiques. We have is a front double bicep, and if you go by size, you might say I think Don's pushing it, but you go by development and definition, you have to really give it really to um Gail. So right here, I think the uh, this will go to Gail. Now here we have the side chest, and here we the thing with side chest is about the chest development, and I think Don takes this one. With Gail, as you know, her you know breast implants are a lot bigger, and often I, often I said that breast implants really get away, get in the way of the uh, pectorials. You don't see definition and styration and the development as well compared to women who get more. You know, I would say smaller implants. I think I think the best advice if you go get breast implants, don't go anything higher than uh I would say a large C. You know, I think, you know, I think if you go a C that's good cuz it doesn't take too much it won't take too much room in your in your pecs. Now here we have a rear lat spread. And if I go by pure size and by width, I have to give this one to Don. Don has the width, the size, great development, great shoulders. Um, Alice is pretty impressive, but if you go by pure width and size, you really have to really go with Don. Now here we have a rear double, and I think right here you have to get a slight edge to Gail. Gail, I think, you know, you can really see the development of her back with this pose compared to Don's. 
she I think she really pulled out something when she did this pose. So that here, um, we go to rear double. I have to give this one to Don. I mean to I mean to Gail, sorry. Now here we have the tricep. And let's see, it, you gotta really look at the details, especially at the uh around about the lower shoulder and see how it could cut, you know, the cut the definition is. Um uh, let's see, these women are just so close in a way. But I think Don might be edging um Gail out of this one. So I think I have to really get a slight edge to Gail. I mean it's not Gail, I mean Don. I mean sorry. Yeah, I gotta keep up these ladies. But I I I would honestly have to give this one here to Don. And we have here is the abdominals, which is and um mm -hmm. development wise you know, definition wise, hmm, mm, this is gonna be. I think you know, I'll slightly give it to. Hmm, I really have to really look how, especially how the you know, the waistline tapers a bit. You know, hmm, I think, uh, ooh, this is gonna be a flip a coin of one. I, I think with Don, I think her torso is a little shorter compared to. Uh, gales, but if you see more um, the abdominal development, you have to really give it to Don. You know, I don't really see as well in um, Gale, but if you see more of the how the uh, uh, pectorals. I mean, how the the abdominal is really showing off more. You have to really give this one to Don. So I think Don wins this one here, and you know, this is a good bicep shot. You know, and I this is. You know, early, uh, uh, you know, Gail. So I have to give this one here to Gail Moya. And the glutes, just great tight glutes. You know, that's the thing about great set of glutes. And if you go by pure tightness, by the looks of it, um, I, 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 I think I'm going to give this one, even though this is a competition pick of Gail. If you go by, you know, pure tight glutes, you have to give this one to Don. Don's pretty pressed up, you know. And like I said, these women are great competitors at the time. You know, they did pretty well for their careers, you know. I think Don, she kind of came in, you know, turned pro. At a, you know, she wasn't pro for for so long, maybe a couple of years. Um, Gail competed for quite some time. She competed with a lot of shows like the Jantana, Miss Olympia, Miss International. She has the Beverly shows under her belt. And both these ladies are impressive. You know, great competitors. Beautiful women. I mean, I'm a fan of both of them. I follow uh, I follow Don's social media. But Gail, she's, I don't think she has much of a social media life. I know she has old MySpace, but, you know, MySpace is kind of dead. And um, these ladies, ooh, these ladies really, um, or I think probably really a great representation of women from different parts of the world, and especially uh, women of the uh, part of the, um, as I said, the, uh, uh, the the great state of the of um, the uh, British territories or British principalities. A lot of you know, and I, I said again, I'm a fan of women from Canada. Great female bodybuilders come out of Canada. There's always been a great history of female bodybuilders from Canada. Now, from what information I gather. Um, Gail's living in Florida. One point, I think she was living in um, around Arizona, Vegas, I believe, but she lives in Florida now, from, from information I gather. But her daughter Courtney started competing a few years ago, and she did a few uh, bikini contests. I don't know if she's still competing now. I know from what I know from, she also does real estate in around Arizona, so she's kind of following her mother's footprints, or footsteps. So there's a good chance that maybe my see her compete some more. I, you know, I don't follow the amateurs that much, especially bikini. And um, Don, her and her husband, they do, um, you know, they are also advisors, they're personal trainers, they're, um, they do a lot of work in the sport. And um, if one thing, this one thing I point out that a couple of years, a few years back, um, Don was training um, Sing Fong Long. And that's the woman, who, that's the female bodybuilder who's from Hong Kong who competes as a female bodybuilder at the same time. She lives as a as a as a transgender male, and I reached out to Don one time and asked if she was still training, um, um, Mr. Law, if you. Will. But um, she said no, she's not training her anymore. But like I said, you know, she has a great. Um, if you like I said, I'm gonna put 
um, Don's uh, information in the uh, description. You know, check her out. You know, you know, reach about about if you're the type of person who might who are willing who's interesting about you know furthering your career as a in the sport of bodybuilding. Maybe she'd be a good person to reach out to about get information and advice about how to get in shape, or whatever else. You know, it's a good idea. You know, just do that. You know, especially if there's a possibility once things maybe settle after um, next year and everybody gets vaccinated and the, and the virus goes down to a more, um, you know, survivable levels. You know, I would say you know go to Canada, reach out, check her out, visit her gym, check. You know, maybe get advice. Where maybe try to even. Work on your maybe um, developing your your career and your physique in the uh, in the future. So anyway, I'm gonna put Don's information in the description. I hope you enjoyed this um, series. This is a um, um, I'm 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 loving this. Like I said, this is, I'm learning a lot of information about a lot of these women that they are mothers, their wives, their sometimes some of my grandmothers, and how they are you know so committed to to sport, being both women and being both athletes. Especially a sport like such as bodybuilding is a very, um, it's a very consuming sport. But anyway, you know, this is your man all the way, George Page, aka the Emperor of Female Bodyman Talk. Like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm out.